Today I'm gonna walk you a little bit through processing an archival collection, like the ones that we have here at the American Oregon Institute Archives and Library. So we usually get a collection that looks like a box full of stuff, and you can see we've got all sorts of papers, we've got photographs, who knows what might be hiding in here. And we want to rehouse it into proper archive supplies so that these materials can stay used um, and accessible for a long time. And we put them into archival storage boxes and folders like this. Um, so the second step would be to, um, if the materials aren't already organized, we would determine different series and different levels of arrangement um, in order to make these materials searchable and findable by different users. After we've arranged all of our materials into um, boxes, then we have to enter the data onto our online database so that people can find it. So the system that we use allows us to describe the folders and items in the way that we've arranged it in boxes. So a user can look at a certain collection and see down to the folder level what we have in our holdings. Um, from there they can request scans or copies or ask to know more about the contents. Um, we also describe the collection as a whole so someone can get a general sense without looking at the in-depth descriptions and we do a lot of historical research to uh, come up with background information about the organists or the creators or the companies and try to make that as relevant to theater organ fans and organ fans and researchers as possible. So the AOI archive is home to a lot of unique collections and special materials that you wouldn't have um, anywhere else in the world. So for instance, we hold all of the original papers and manuscripts of David Junshin, who wrote the Encyclopedia of the American Theater Organ. Uh, we actually have all of his original papers and manuscripts from when he was um, compiling this massive work. So for instance, we have his all of the research that he collected as he would go through looking at different organ builders and organists um, throughout um, his research. Um, this is a folder that we pulled out about Robert Mol Morton. Um, we have some original catalogs, we have uh, organ specification lists, we even have um, music scores and um, photographs that he used throughout his research, which is uh, pretty interesting for scholars. We have quite a few glass lantern slides which were used in the silent film uh, cinemas where lyrics to sing-alongs or movies would be projected um, and the audience would be able to sing along. So we've actually rehoused these all into archival paper and into lantern specific boxes so that they can be preserved and uh, viewed for a long time to come. These are the Wurlitzer player rolls that you can feed into the machine and the uh, track will play. We actually have a full set of the original Wurlitzer rolls produced.